Counterattack back on location this week in Greensboro, North Carolina, the Greensboro Aquatic Center for the first ever ODP East Regional Tournament. We've got an inside look at this event and much more all coming up next on a brand new Counterattack. Hi everyone, Greg Meskel here. Thanks for joining us on the Counterattack. We're here in Greensboro, North Carolina, ODP East Regional Tournament. 40 teams from around the country making up four ODP zones, Northeast, Southeast, Midwest, and Great Lakes, all here for three days of competition. We checked out some of the action and talked with some of the athletes about this brand new event. It's absolutely amazing. We've never had anything like this here in North Carolina. And to be able to drive literally like 30 minutes and to come and play all these games and see all these people, it's really cool. The athletes are experiencing a higher level of play than they're used to on a normal basis. So they take these skills that they learn throughout the weekend um, and they can take it back to their clubs and apply it and grow as athletes and then in turn grow their programs more because they're bringing back to a higher level. I hope me and my group of guys are going to do the best we can and we're going to go do like show our abilities out here and try to get to the next step and get to the really high tier level of water polo and we're just here to compete and have some fun. Unbelievable. Um, I, I didn't know really what to expect and to come to Greensboro and be in the city I grew up in that didn't ever have any water polo, um, I never thought I would see anything like it. So already plans to bring this great event right back here to North Carolina next year. We'll share information on that as soon as it is available. Now we turn to other USA Water Polo events on the way. The USA Water Polo Assembly, along with the Development Summit and Referee School. Information available now at usawaterpolo.org. A big weekend of water polo coming to Newport Beach later this month. The USA Water Polo Development Summit is one of the highlights of the weekend, bringing together some great minds in water polo, also some coaching experts. Dr. Wade Gilbert will be our keynote speaker. He'll be joined by water polo names you know, Betsy Armstrong, Cammie Craig, Dan Klatt, Adam Krikorian, Doug Peabody, Jack Bowen, among others, giving different talks about different aspects of the sport of water polo. More information available now at usawaterpolo.org. There is also, of course, our USA Water Polo Annual Awards Dinner. That'll be on Saturday night. On Sunday, we'll have a referee certification school. So if you are a ref that needs your updated certification or if you're looking to get into becoming a referee, that's a great school to attend. And we'll have our USA Water Polo General Assembly on Saturday morning. That will be live streamed free of charge. And now we turn to the USA men's national team as they gear up for competition in Sao Paulo, Brazil. The FINA World Championship qualifier getting underway next week. Team USA will get it started with Argentina. Here's a look at the rest of their schedule and the team that Coach Dan Odovacic will be bringing to Brazil. And after Team USA opens play with Argentina, they'll also have to get through Brazil and Canada. Keep in mind, the top two finishers from this event, those are the ones that qualify for the FINA World Championship. As for the roster for head coach Dan Odovacic, here are the 13 athletes set to compete in Brazil. We'll share any live streaming information that may be available from this event. But the athletes competing all did take part in the USA Italy series last month, anchored by several returning Olympians from the 2016 Games. And now on to college water polo. The 2019 women's college water polo season is underway. Just a couple of games this past weekend as we look at our Cap 7 college scoreboard. Arizona State hosting an invitational with some club teams and Marist getting two wins over the Red Foxes, 16-8 and 10-5. More water polo action as many teams getting their seasons started this coming weekend. So we'll have more scores for you there. And a big loss for the college community and the water polo community at large with the passing of legendary coach Bob Horn. Many current water polo players will know Bob Horn as the longtime coach of UCLA, where he guided the Bruins to three NCAA championships, including the first ever sanctioned NCAA title. But he was also an excellent player, a two-time Olympian with Team USA in 1956 and 1960, had a varied career. He even taught the famous actor Burt Lancaster how to swim, and together they worked on a promotional USA water polo video many years ago. Again, our thoughts are with the Horn family and his friends during this difficult time, a big loss for the water polo community. And now we close out the show as we do every week with our social media send-off powered by Cobian. 
Don't forget, you can win a brand new pair of Copian sandals. Use the hashtags counterattack and every step matters, and you'll be a winner. Let's check out this week's lucky winner. Thanks to Ohio Squirrels for sending this one along, a throwback photo. Their daughter at just a year old, maybe a future ref with the red card out, now six. Still a big fan of water polo. Thanks for sharing Ohio Squirrels, our latest Cobian winner, a free pair of sandals on the way. And on to the rest of our social media shares. Once again, Team USA captain Maggie Steffens named one of Sports Illustrated's 50 most fittest athletes in the world in the top 25 and the women's most fittest athletes as well. You could have a lot of water polos on this list. Great to have the sport represented. Congrats to Maggie as well for year number two. Luca Cupido has joined Pro Reco, one of the all-time great water polo clubs considered the New York Yankees of international water polo. Pro Reco often brings together some of the best players in the world, and Cupido, the Italy native, has joined the team. We'll keep an eye on his time with Pro Reco going forward after his return from Sao Paulo, Brazil, with Team USA. On to the ODP East Regional right here in Greensboro. Moose Water Polo, a great experience for the club from Ohio. Plus, great TV coverage all weekend long. Here's a short clip from WFMY, the CBS affiliate here in Greensboro. USA Water Polo and the Greensboro Aquatic Center is hoping that this week in competition will grow some interest in water polo around the triad. More ODP action outside of North Carolina as the Pacific Northwest was getting in some training this past weekend thanks to coach Casey Greenewalt. Another busy water polo pool in the U.S. This coming from the state of Texas where the game is growing rapidly. We mentioned Luca Cupido playing with Pro Reco. Well, Jordan Rainey, Stephanie Howard Labitas, and Ashley Johnson all competing in Greece and enjoying their time here via Instagram. And then last but not least, check out this video from Ben Tapasa at Sam Barlow High School in Oregon. Feels a little risky. Helicopter shot on the penalty. So there you have it, some of the best water polo on the internet this week. Thanks for all your submissions. Keep them coming. Tag us at USAWP. Use the hashtag counterattack. That's all for this week's show from right here in Greensboro, North Carolina. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget, when you're on the counterattack, even right here in North Carolina, look weak side.